Lend me your eyes. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabicha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was, while Al Mutawakil lived. But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Show me everything. That looks like a good fit. Shame someone is already wearing it. Let us just move you out of the way. A bit tight across the chest and gut. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabicha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. 
When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Magira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umovalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Eye paint and magic potion. Seriously? to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. Perfect timing. I need an honest opinion on my poem. I'm having trouble with the 23rd stanza. What is a stanza? Never mind, Philistine. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such... Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strip. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then, the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one.
quarters fit for a Khalifa, the garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Sorry, that was Greek to me. There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The... Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. Khilafa and Alamut. A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? Hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. What happened? <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go, now. Give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with <gasps> me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. 
Nothing body, just the study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them? Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kobiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. What happened? I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order... who have yet to suffer at her hands. What beautiful homes. What beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. from my guests? This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. 
You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots. Your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames, I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, Poetess. Postal Bureau. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Back. You may not enter this Here from every corner of the Khilafa. There must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yeah, Please know that your payment of 15 dinars is overdue and must be... No. After the honey drips from her lips, a thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me.
I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. Strike as the cobra, be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Getting yourself yet? Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. How far will the fox flee? Yet another painted mouse. I would have known 
You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still... She has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. The Madalim courts are close. Derwish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. My father once said, To know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. 
These judges must know the governor better than most. Did you hear how he ruled? Ridiculous. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mazalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. That messenger could lead me to the governor's office. And whatever secrets he buries there. You could lose me.
Weesh always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Poverty was my only crime. Free me of these chains, please. في أمان الله يا صديقي
Muhammad ibn Tahir's office at last. The Tahirids agreed to withdraw their protection from Alamut at the governor's request. The hidden ones are betrayed. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The masked cabal, the order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the Order Alamut. They gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you loose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar after all. What was that? Shan's counsel and end this once and for all. Mm. 
I am not here. I for one will not judge. Perhaps he's an innocent man. Poor lightness. Basi, have you investigated your three suspects? If not, then your work is not complete. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by... His mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice. And I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Tabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared. 
and each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut, and all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace, and I will cut the head from the snake.